Well, hello again. My name is Matthias Klaasner. It didn't change. And in uh, episode number three of this course, uh, Adobe XD course, I'm going to explain to you how to uh, to draw certain symbols inside of Adobe XD and uh, work out some extra artboards. So at first, I'm going to uh, well make use of uh, this little interface over here. So I'm going to alt drag the artboard in order to uh, reuse it uh, maybe a couple of times. Something like this. And this is going to be my Maps artboard. So I'm going to use Google Maps to uh, to work these uh, things out. I don't need uh, the background anymore because the background will be my Google Maps screenshot. And I'm going to shorten the page a bit because it's way too long for the purpose. So I'm going to select the artboard and import uh, the file, the, uh, the screenshot of Google Maps from Rotterdam. There we go. And now let's uh, scale it down a bit. Something like this. And then uh, send it to back. There we go. Now it's behind the interface. And um, well, this is location number one and location number two. Um, so I need uh, a pointer like uh, symbol, like over here in the example. Um, and those little symbols can be made within Adobe XD itself. So I'm going to uh, base it on a circle. So I'm going to make a huge circle and I can scale it down later on. Use shift to not make it an oval but a circle. And it's uh, vector based so I can select the circle with a double click. That will show me the, uh, the anchor points and the Bezier curves uh, which go along with them. So there we go. And I can narrow it down to make it into a point drag it downwards and that will give me something like Google Maps uh, has on its website. But I'd like to have a transparent circle in there as well. So I'm going to make another circle and use a, a Pathfinder like a solution like an Illustrator. So I'm going to place it on top. And when I select both of them and go to the object menu, path and then hit subtract it will make it transparent. So the overlapping one will be transparent. And now I can replace it to the main location of the GLR in Rotterdam. And of course I can alter the design as well. So I'm gonna disable the, uh, the border and uh, choose another uh, color for the little pointer over there. Maybe add a little shadow, something like this. And of course, I'm going to alt drag to make the second location. Now, if you notice in the uh, the example of the app, there was a coffee stain in there as well. So that's another uh, image, and it's a PNG file actually with transparency in there. So I'm going to import that one, the stain, import, and just place it wherever you'd like somewhere over here to make it more coffee like ish so that's artboard number three and that leaves us with just two artboards that we're going to make um, and i don't need the repeat grid in this one and i'm going to leave the rest of the of the artboard um, so i'm going to select it and import one of the images import go to the assets again for five and I'm gonna choose the main location, import it. There we go. Shift scale down to stay in proportions. Yeah, something like this. And it's always a good habit to reuse what you've already got. So I really like this uh, little rectangle over here. So I'm gonna copy it, Command C. Oh, I just double clicked on the group to open up the group and select the rectangle below. And now I'm going to paste it inside of this artboard. Command V. This one can be on top. Bring to front. And just alter it a bit. There we go. In order to align perfectly. And if you remember, I really like to, uh, to make these corner radiuses. So I jump into the corner radius over here and it was 22 by 22 for the top corners there we go and now all I need to have is a, a nice text area 
to put my lorem ipsum text in there my placeholder text there we go and paste my placeholder text in there command a to select all the text and make the filling uh, black and probably will go to the aerial narrow there we go this is okay and now I want to give the uh, uh, the users of the app the ability to rate the location um, based on five stars so I'm gonna go for import again and the cool thing is it allows you to import SVG files those are scalable vector graphics so I'm gonna import it scale it down even further with shift of course and probably you notice that this one is uh, black and I like to change it uh, in the same color as I'm using uh, throughout the app so um, the cool thing about SVG files is that you can change the color afterwards inside of Adobe XD um, it doesn't show eventually but when you uh, double click on the star it will open up there we go and it will allow you to change the filling of the uh, of the star in this case there we go and now of course we can alt drag the stars to make five of them four and number five alt drag there we go now I want to select them all and make sure that they are uh, distributed horizontally so every in-between space is the same and well it didn't get five stars it has got uh, four stars out of five so this is the basic uh, idea of the location artboard main location and I'm gonna all drag it again to make the second one that's the K12 location and of course that will need another uh, image so I'm going to import image number two from the same folder scale it again and in that way we've got the other artboard as well and now the app is all ready to be prototyped so we're gonna make the links in the next video to make the whole prototype working um, and you can test it from your other devices thank you for watching and see you again in episode number four